respect begins here on the practice field. And so it did for the Washington State Cougars in 1979. New faces and a new system were important ingredients in second year head coach Jim Walden's plan of attack. Gone was All-American Jack Thompson and other key players from the previous season. The development of a new system and the maturing of young players was the first step the Cougars took in 1979, a step that would once again lead them back to the top of the tough Pacific 10 Conference. Our offense is a conglomerate of everybody really having to do his part. We asked so much out of our wide receivers in their blocking. We ask a lot of our running backs in their faking. We ask a lot of our quarterback in to be able to throw the ball well, fake it well, and still make good decisions at the point of attack. We ask this offense to do the things that a lot of offenses don't like to do, our young men don't like to do. Our wide receivers love to catch passes. They don't like to come inside and crack linebackers, but they did and they will. Our offensive line in is still asked to do the same things they always are. Maybe we have to pull them a little bit more and they run a little bit harder. Our offensive philosophy is to, to be successful in this league, we're going to get the most we can out of every athlete playing offense for us, doing the things that a lot of athletes at a lot of schools are not asked to do. And so we're looking for the guy who will make the fake, make the block, and then carry the ball some too. I want to build an offense where everybody on it enjoys the touchdown as much as if they scored it themselves. And I really believe that's what we accomplished this fall. I think at Washington State, we probably not only have what's adequate, we may have one of the best in the league in terms of all areas of weight training, in space, and equipment, and direction, and availability. We're so much more physical now, uh, and it's very evident because we have an all-American offensive tackle. We've had uh, something like six or seven kids drafted and making it in pro ball in the last three years, uh, of which were products of the first phases of starting this weight training program and the facility that was offered to us. You can see our athletes getting better because strength is self-confidence. So I think we're building confidence through our, our weight training. Since I've become the head coach, the biggest overall change has been an attitude toward academics, that their responsibility is to be the best football player they possibly can become, but do it all with a college degree. Those things have really jumped uh, tenfold in terms of our players wanting to excel in academics, not necessarily straight A students, but making sure that they're getting what the college has to offer. Winning and enjoying, as Walden explains, is the ultimate goal. I just believe that, uh, uh, that this is a game that young men should enjoy, but they've got to work hard to enjoy it because the enjoyment of football, as in any athletic contest, is victory. The ultimate thing is victory. The pain that you endure is all there for the fact that we must try to win. My objective when I took this job at Washington State was to build and produce winning attitude kids the young men who accept the fact that football is hard work, but in the final analysis, victory is worth it. What I'd like to do for Washington State football is to say that you to win a football championship, you're going to have to add us to one of those teams you have to beat to win it. I think that when we get to that respect level, that where when teams come into Washington State and say going up there or having them come into here is a ball game you must get ready for, to me that's success. And then from that, championships are made and won. <laughs> Washington State's potent offense, ranked third in the prestigious Pac-10 conference at season's end, spared no one as the Cougars took on a brutal schedule, one that saw the team challenge six postseason bowl teams. The Cougars proved to be a nightmare for opponents' defensive coaches as WSU scored on passes by new quarterback Steve Grant to a host of receivers like Bevan Maxey, Jim Watley, Pat Beach, and Mike Wilson.
and they scored with a potent running game, led by all Pacific 10 pick Pally Ina, Ray Williams, and Tim Harris. Up front, there was plenty of solid line play, led by All-American tackle Alan Kennedy and All-Pacific 10 Greg Sykes, plus Scott Rogers, Gene Emerson, and Pat Beach. Defensively, I like to run a hard five front. I don't necessarily want great big guys, but I do like kids that can run. I think if I had to give up anything for what I really want in defense, I'd give up a little size to keep the speed. So we're looking to find maybe a little tougher kid and a kid with a little more speed. And then we must get numbers to create the competition that brings both of those things out. And when we get that, I think you'll see that as our defense starts to round into shape, the philosophy that we've already developed on offense will make all of it a better. However, the early season, high-scoring games against some of the nation's best, like Ohio State, USC, and Syracuse, began to take its toll on an already undermanned Cougar defense. the Syracuse game, 13 starters were watching from the sideline. Young players were pressed into service as Walden and staff tried to patch up the injury riddle defense. Players like John Winslow, Charlie Flager, Pat Lynch, Louis Lobdell. by outstanding offensive play and a never-die attitude on defense, the Cougars, after five games, finally returned to Pullman and home to beautifully and enlarged, remodeled Martin Stadium to face the always tough UCLA Bruins. I think the thing that's going to help us as much as anything is when the addition of the stadium. What we do in showing it is a very beautiful stadium. It is right here on campus. It's close to where they are. It allows us to show that we do have a stadium right here on campus, and also that it is a uh, new addition of 10 or 11,000 seats shows these players that this is the new Washington State. This is the new life that's being pumped into this program, that we're not going to just stand here and stay pat. We want to get better, and it was our fans' way of showing that, that they think we're going to get better, and when they do, they want to have a place to sit and watch the gut ball game. A record homecoming crowd showed up on the Pullman campus, and they weren't disappointed as the defense stymied UCLA's explosive offense. Forced turnover after turnover and made numerous and crucial defensive stands.
Meanwhile, the offense, slow at the start, got untracked late in the first half and throughout the final two quarters to give the Cougar fans a win to remember. was now taking shape. But it wasn't an easy road. The remaining schedule included two more bowl-bound opponents and three tough road trips. season's end, the Cougars could look back with pride at the accomplishments they achieved. They could see the road to respect and where it was leading them. One good thing about continuity of program, we are not seeking to find whether a kid is a great athlete or not. With a system that we want to run, we are simply looking for the best athlete we can find to run our system. When we offer a kid a scholarship, we think he is the best we can find at that particular position, so we offer him. I think in recruiting, the thing that I want is a philosophy for my coaches and the players of this country to understand when we recruit you, we think you're the best or we wouldn't offer you a scholarship. We offer a kid a scholarship because we think he can help our system become better. For sure, there were graduation losses that will be felt, 16 seniors in all. But there was plenty of young talent returning for another drive down the road next year. Enhanced by the addition of new players next year, the road to respect is quickly becoming more defined, broader, and straighter.